When you've made all of your charts in Google Sheets, you've got a lot of different ways that you can get that information out there. You can share the individual sheets with people. You can save the charts as images and put them into presentations or documents. You can copy them and put them onto websites. But I do want to show you one interesting alternative that works well because Google Sheets is in fact a web application, and that is publishing your charts to the web. Now I'm going to begin with one that isn't even really a chart. It's this page right here. We just want to publish this little bit of text based charts. And so let's do this. Let's just come right up here to file and to publish to the web. Now, what it's going to ask is whether I want to do the entire document or just this one page or a particular page. And what these are actually listing are graphs on pages. I'm just going to pick this first page. And it's going to ask whether I want to do it as a web page or save it as a CSV or tab separated file or a PDF or something else. I'm going to save it as a web page. And I'm going to hit publish. It double checks, which is a good thing. And then it gives me this very, very long web address. Now, I'm going to go to a incognito browser, so it's not logged in for me. And I enter that and go to it. And check it out. There is my chart. It's my little repeat chart. And so it, you know, it's not well formatted, but the point is it's there. And it's a way of getting the stuff out immediately. Let's try a different one. I'm going to go back to where I was. I'm going to close this one. And let's come down here to the line chart. And I'm going to come down to this bottom one, because I've got several different lines on it. So this might be the sort of thing that you want to share with other people. I'm going to hit these three buttons right here. And that also gets me to the publish chart, I could do it from the file menu as well. I'm going to hit publish chart, revenue by source by month. And I have an option of making it interactive or making it a static image, I'm going to do this one as an image. And by the way, you can see down here it's telling me that the repeat chart is published. Also, I'm going to hit publish. It's going to check with me again, that's good. And I'm going to copy this address. And I'll go back to this page, open up a new tab, paste it in. And now you can see, it's a web page, it's up here on docs.google.com. And it's a little fuzzy because it actually is low resolution, it's about 500 by 300 pixels, I don't know why it's that small. But it's available to people and people can copy this URL and have access to the document. Now I want to go a third choice. And that is let's come over to the timeline because I've got this same data about revenue sources, revenue streams. And I'm going to take this more complex one. Now, one of the cool things about timelines is that they are by nature interactive. You can come here and say I want just the last one year, I want the last six months. Of course, it's going to bring up this editing window. So I'll slide things over. And you've got this little slider right here you can use as a way of changing the uh, time frame you're dealing with. That's all very cool. So let's come up to these three little dots and say, publish the chart. Now the last one I did as an image, this one I'm going to make interactive. So I'm going to hit publish. It's going to ask me if I want to do that. I'm going to copy that address so it's already highlighted. Go to my other page, open a new tab and put the address in there. And what you'll find is it actually doesn't look exactly the way it was before. It's arranged a little differently. So for instance, these three sources are lift listed on the left as opposed to across the top. But you do get the numbers as you go through. And you do have the zoom thing, this is still available, but we've lost the thing to drag across the bottom, the timeline selector, which is unfortunate, because that's one of the best ways of interacting. So not perfect, not complete, but it is a really nice way to share things by just giving people a web page, give them a link, and they can start interacting with your data in certain ways and start getting some of the same insights out of it that you had. Now I want to finish with one little thing here, I'm going to close these three tabs. And that is once you have stuff published, you know, the time may come, and you don't want it to be out there anymore. And so what you need to do is come down here, this is showing us what's published. Uh, we can't scroll up very much here. But you see the check marks next to the things that are published. 
just hit stop publishing and those links will no longer be active and this stuff is back in your private control. So publishing is one interesting, not perfect, but an interesting method of getting your information out there, sharing your message, sharing your data, and then being able to get insight from the people around you.